a back and forth game all the way, guys, the way it's being played. This is fun to watch. Oh! Well, it's definitely been a shootout. But the team that can start playing some defense might have an edge. He dishes it to Livingston. And the miss, not the best shot selection there. Tell you what, they haven't wasted any time getting into the swing of things on the boards. Yeah, and even though it's early, I mean, that's a great sign for them for the rest of the game. Don't take your eyes off of him because he can make plays from multiple spots on the floor. Put the isolated cam on him. Here's Igudala. Excellent D there from Pierce. Wall. The and the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Wizards, guys. A lot of hard work being put in on the glass. This is a very physical team. They're doing a nice job in the paint. Yeah, and I think they're doing a good job gang rebounding, too, Steve. Everybody's boxing out down there. Warriors trail by five. Wall and Beal together in the backcourt. Nene is out there with Humphreys. And it's Pierce in at the three. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Wizards. Boy, Chris Humphreys. Clearly not flashy, but he is a worker on and off the court. He's always been a strong rebounder, especially on the offensive glass. Never afraid to get in there and battle. He never shies away from contact. If you want to get physical, he's not backing down. Now let's go to Doris Burke. Doris. Well, Andre Iguodala is perhaps the premier wing defender in the league. Dre himself said, I used to always joke with my coaches, I could play defense in my sleep. But it's not just natural ability, he said. There's another me in the league. They have the same things. Long arms, quick feet, and they can defend. They just choose not to do it. Kevin? It comes from within, Doris. Thank you. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And as we get a break here, important for the teams to go over their own strategy. And for the players, this is where you have a chance to get rehydrated with Gatorade. To put out your best effort as the game wears on, guys. You know, it's amazing when, when you're playing during a season, you go through a stretch where you don't hydrate. It can have a major physical toll on you. Your body wears down quicker. You don't recover as fast. And that can really take its toll over the course of an 82-game season. Clay Thompson. Kevin Serafin, he's checked in for, for Washington. Otto Porter Jr. comes in for Pierce. Different look here for the Warriors. Andrew Bogut checked in for Lee. Iguodala comes in for Green. Thompson, he's checked in for Leandro Barbosa. And Curry subbed in for Sean Livingston. Good! Bradley! Beals got Beal. the lead up to seven now for the Wizards. The feed to Thompson. Passes it to Iguodala. Back to Thompson. Beal on the double team. Another shot. Here's Bogut. And finally they hit one. You see the defense get caught standing around that time, giving up an easy second chance bucket. They simply need more of an effort on the boards there, Steve. They get it back. Humphreys kicks to Beal. No one near wall as he lets it go. And the Wizards hit again from deep. The D has gotten a little lax defending the three-point shot at that end. Agreed. Clark has poured in three of the last five baskets on pretty open looks behind the arc. Washington making some changes. Sessions checked in for Bradley Beal. And it's Bynum in for John Wall. No one near Sessions as he lets it fly. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Pretty good defense there. I mean, that's a shot that he can make, but they really challenged him. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Well, let's have a look at some league leaders from the last 10 games. Here are the highest-scoring point guards in the NBA during that time. Number one, Steph Curry. 
And you just can't say enough about the value of a player like him who can attack a defense in so many different ways from the point. Yeah, you know, you're right. For him to be providing the individual scoring he has, as well as keeping all his teammates so involved in the offense, that's a hard job, and it's an ideal combination for a point guard. Looking at who's out there now for the Wizards. Gortat's checked in for Kevin Serafin. Nene comes in for Chris Humphreys. Bradley Beals checked in for Sessions. And it's John Wall in for Will Bynum. Timeout called the Warriors. The Wizards making a switch here. Pierce has checked in. The Warriors also with a sub. Green's checked in. A shot by Thompson and no one's around. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got three assists in the game. It's early, but you can already make a case for Curry as one of the best shooters of all time. Really, it's a combination of his ability to hit shots, but also his ability to create his own shot. Very rare to have both those abilities. They double-team Curry. Wall with the steal. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And if you do consider Curry to be the greatest shooter already, we're in good company. Last season, Kevin Durant Clark gave his a that Curry is already the best. Yeah, you know, this is going to be debated by people for a long time, and I don't know where the answer is going to land, but Curry definitely is in the equation already with his resume and record breaking three point shooting. Bogut the best to Green. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Good job of spotting his teammate near the basket and zipping the pass right in there. And Wall kicks to Pierce. Back to Wall. Wall draws the double. They get it back. The kick out to Pierce. Green against the name. Back to Pierce. Let's it go with a three. Count that one. Pierce has got five points now this quarter. Now he made two three-pointers in the first quarter, so he continues to shoot the ball well. Such a solid performance. Oh, 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 ridiculous. Tore it down that time. <laughs> wow, and that sort of showmanship is just a Waiting right now to a team trying Clark to get back into this game license. Yeah, definitely a jam with emphasis. A, a big apostrophe or exclamation point. How about maybe even a question mark, Clark? <laughs> well, you know what the questions are about now. It's their defense, that's for sure. So timeout called here. The first for Washington. Well, as you know, there are polls for just about everything in sports. Last year, Steph Curry was actually voted as the most trustworthy player in the league. can see Kevin where the Warriors rank in the NBA right now. Tops in scoring. First in assist. And they're also number one in shooting percentage. This is a team that prides itself on taking high quality shots. And the points that they're scoring per game that you talked about is really a result of great offensive execution. I mean this is a club that works well together. They get great looks and they'll also score in transition. Wizards leading by nine. You talked about trust in Steph Curry. It, it seemed he was able to trust his ankles a bit more last year. Yeah, that has been a big concern. Repeated ankle sprains. Part of the reason the Warriors were able to sign him to such a bargain extension. But when healthy, clearly an all-star and all-league player. Here's Igudala. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. 
And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Wizards? Boy, the three-point shot has really been dropping for him early on. And the other thing we're seeing is great ball movement. We're seeing a lot of good offensive execution, ball movement, player movement, setting up assists. Fellas, that's exactly the job the big guy has to do for him. Contest every rebound. His shooting has been so good today, he may have to take it upon himself to try to get his club out of this hole. Wall draws the double. Pierce wide open. He fires. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. The more touches he gets, the more this lead will grow. He has just been unconscious this quarter. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. It's Wall with the drop. Oh, get it! Oh, oh. watch out now! <laughs> Tell you what, he's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Absolutely insane with that dunk. Well, now they're starting to rub it in, aren't they? Have to build up a lead, and here we go, folks. It's showtime. And why not? I mean, the more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys on the ropes. That'll do it for the first half. And as we welcome you back, we begin our second half. So far, not a tightly contested game, guys, but, you know, anything can happen. Pierce playing very, very well. He's got 19 points. And talk about the three ball for him. Wow. Unbelievable from long distance. Yeah, you are right, Clark. I mean, it's been fireworks from deep. He's just so dangerous out there. So for the Golden State Warriors right now, on the wing, Thompson and Iguodala. Down low, it's Green and Bogut. And it's Curry in at the point. Andre Iguodala, one of the elite athletes in the NBA. Great ball handler, and when he gets to the rim, he's right up there with LeBron James as far as being one of those high percentage finishers in the league. Warriors trail by 10. They double team Curry. Kicks it out to Iguodala. Green dishes to Thompson. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And that'll increase their rebound advantage. They've definitely been winning that battle on the board. Well, the main thing is they haven't allowed many second chance opportunities. And that is always going to allow you to maintain your lead. And the defense looking to protect the rim at all costs. Yeah, I like that. A foul to save the layup. Make him earn it at the line. Arjun Gorchak, the Polish Hammers. <laughs> we like him, I know, but the 57th pick back in 2005. He's just a quality starting center in the end. 6 11 center, can score and defend. Really a good pickup for Washington. Nice hops and determination that time. Uh, Clark to get to the rim. We know he can bounce and right there. An example of how dangerous he is when he's got a path to the hoop. And, and you love the versatility, guys. Being a point guard, and in this situation, they tack on two more points, expanding the lead in a pretty deflating way for the defense. And Doris Burke has a report for us from the sideline. Well, Kevin, Steve Kerr taking over as head coach of the Warriors, a five-time NBA champion. His focus is on creating sustained success. He said, we've got a chance to be really good for the next decade. Let's just take a swing every year and be consistent with our efforts, and we'll have our chances. And we get to watch him, Kevin. Looking to build something that'll last. Thank you, Doris. And Gortat got his rebounding back up last season. A consistent double-double guy in the middle. And he turned 30 last season. Still very much in the prime of his career. Shooting for Washington. And Gortat, a strong finisher inside. Can shoot out to about 15 feet. He can do a lot worse at the center position. The key for him is just staying healthy. So for the Wizards, Serafin comes in for Gortat. And Sessions subbed in for John Wall. And there's the three-second call, this one on the defense. For Washington, they have gone six of nine at the line. And so he hits the technical free throw. Well, the Wizards very high on their young athletic backcourt of John Wall and Bradley Beal. Both 
so young and lively. They can run the floor and score. I get the feeling they feel like 